I have spent thousands of hours coaching successful and highly disciplined women who, like me, could run businesses and households and marathons and yet could not control their own drinking. And when I point out the one simple mistake that is the crux of alcohol use disorder, their confidence in their own ability to change is instantly restored. If you're new to my page, I'm Colleen, and I help high achieving professional women permanently reduce their alcohol consumption by 80% so they don't have to quit. So if you wanna learn more about how I do that, hit the follow. The number one mistake that everybody makes when they realize alcohol is a problem is to tell themselves this has to stop and the harder they try, the worse it gets. They try to trick themselves into believing that alcohol is a highly toxic poison and scare themselves with future health implications and worry that their partners are gonna leave them and that their kids are gonna be screwed up. And the more they stress themselves out, the more they drink. Let me use an analogy to explain why that is. If your partner notices that you're looking at their phone where they're texting and suddenly pulls it away and says, don't look, what do you immediately wanna do? Give me the phone. Their reaction has triggered a stress response. Your body perceives a threat in that phone, which makes you hyper-focused on that phone. And the only way we're gonna solve this problem is for you to let me see that damn phone. In the same way, when you tell yourself that you have to stop drinking, your body has a stress response every time the idea crosses your mind. You get hyper-focused and start doing a bunch of mental math, ruminating on how hard this is going to be. You're wondering, how am I ever going to relax again? What will I say to my friends? And then you start thinking about your friends and how much they drink, and then you start questioning yourself. I mean, am I really that bad? The paradox with alcohol use disorder is that you only know what it is that you don't want, and that's why you're getting more of what you don't want. The solution is simple, though it does take time. You need to create a clear vision for what you actually want. Like, what would you be doing in the evenings if you weren't drinking? And what would you be thinking about all day if you weren't obsessing over alcohol? The bottom line here is that when you know what you want, you can get what you want. You set the goal, you map out the steps, you get to work. So here's your homework. Next time you hear yourself think, I have to stop drinking, pause, take a deep breath, take control of your brain. Ask yourself the question, what is it that I want to start? Saying no to alcohol only perpetuates the problem. You have to figure out what you're saying yes to. You have to know what you want before you can get what you want. It's that simple. And if you'd like to work with a drinking coach so you can learn to say yes to yourself instead of joining a sobriety program just so you can learn to say no to alcohol, click the link in my bio and schedule a free consult.